Howdy guys, it's Irish here. So it's been just about a week that I have been on uh, FreeBSD. It, I am liking it, however there are some little things here and there that, uh, that I just have to get used to. So <clears throat> the main issues that I ran into uh, with the last one was it was my locale uh, and it was my stupid fault. So I was setting it in the proper um, in the proper locations, which was the the loader, the uh, the proper locations for FreeBSD. So, as you can see, uh, if I do Vim, it's just about uh, what you should see. I think there might be it's now uh, a little bit of a uh, fonts issue, but as you can see right there. But my main issue was uh, here in my look uh, in my .zrc file. I had source or export lang and then my thing. So I could probably just get rid of this one too. So it's not going to take effect until I log out and then back in. But I'll do that the next time. So <clears throat> the other issue that I was having was my dual monitoring system so if we go to our settings here display as you can see it's showing two um, two monitors my issue there was uh, I was installing the proper thing but being coming from the Linux world uh, all you have to do in the Linux world is just install your graphics drivers which is the ATI, so XF86-video-ATI. The weird thing was uh, I was adding the AMD GPU also because I think the last time I had Arch Linux on this machine, for whatever reason, I had to add both of them, so I thought I had to do both of those. But if you go into my rc.conf, <clears throat> you had to add this because I do have a Radeon card Radeon HD 6780 so I had to do this um, I have this uh, commented out as a reference just in case I do in a future time want to put my uh, laptop which has a Intel so I would just need to put this uh, I still have mouse D, which is interesting that you can actually have a mouse cursor on the console, which is uh, quite interesting. I'll have to show that at a later time. Uh, HALD was enabled. Uh, that gives us some things. The dump V, uh, DBUS is what you really need. And then SSHD enable equals yes. Uh, I again this is pretty uh, I feel like this is a stable one but I can't give a my comprehensive feel of this because naturally this past week my daughter decided to get uh, sick so the only time that I really had uh, time to play with FreeBSD was early in the morning when she woke up at like 4 in the morning and when I for like the five minutes that after I put her to bed so I don't I can't give you a full what I think about it but I do uh, from what I've gathered uh, trying to figure this stuff out uh, it's definitely it feels very different from Linux which is a good and a bad thing the bad thing is because I got used to Linux after all my six years on there so it will take a little time hopefully not too long to get used to the uh, ins and outs of the BSDs. Uh, the only uh, experience that I have was I think I ran NetBSD on a, uh, on a spare computer and I wanted to do a video of that but uh, it might be the computer itself it didn't read my USB. Uh, my other issue was my USB so I thought uh, because I have pulse audio that I could just plug in in and I thought it 
there's a program on Linux called PavView Control. I can select that, um, but also in a simple screen recorder, uh, when you can select it, it usually tells me in Linux, hey, you have a Realtek USB headset, do you want to use that? Where in this one, it gives like dev.dbs6 and stuff like that. So if you go into SU here and you cat, cat out the SND stat, um, I think I was on... Uh, PCM1 here or maybe PCM0 I needed PCM5 on my last video but right now it's PCM6 so you have to type in sysctlhw.snd.default underscore unit equals 6 and what do you know I have fair audio I don't think it's comparable to what it is on Linux, but hey, I will take it. Um, there is still one issue. Hopefully, some of you guys who does uh, WeChat can help me with this. I've never seen this. Uh, again, I've gone from distro to distro in the Linux world using my uh, WeChat configuration file, and it's worked every time. Uh, but when I do a WeChat, <clears throat> I get this bind error, host name, nor serve name provided or not known. Uh, I've never had that before. I thought it could have been my, uh, let me go into my hosts, oh. CD Etsy, Vim hosts. Uh, I have local host. Um, if you think I need to put both of them, it works under my uh, Gen2 machine, which I use on a daily basis. So if we go into this, I cat out my host. It works the same way, and it's right here, um, local host. So I don't know what it could be. So I have to use hex chat which uh, is fine for now. Uh, again, I'm probably not going to be on this computer that often uh, just because I'm rarely downstairs where this computer is, so this this might be fine. I just have to get a few things. Uh, there are a couple of uh, software things that I would like to have, but I have to find uh, workarounds. Uh, one of them is Spotify. There is no Spotify uh, program, but there is Spotify D, which I had to get it from the ports, but that took nearly all night to compile. And I have an i5, which has. Oh, I don't have HTOP, of course. Uh, which has two cores, but with hyper threading, so four cores altogether. I ran encrypted Gen2 Linux on this machine and I could get that up and running within a day um, so I don't know what is taking so long with it um, but maybe again someone I might uh, go into the WeChat help on WeChat on my Linux laptop and just SSH and hopefully that will work um, there are some missing icon packs, so if we go into user uh, ports, uh, then we go CD X11 themes. You could see some icon packs, so XFCE icons elementary. Uh, one of my favorite GTK is the ARC uh, GTK theme. I believe it is. Yeah, right here, GTK Arc Themes. I thought that would maybe include the, the Icon Pack 2, but unfortunately not. So what I did was I took my, in my Linux computer, I just made a folder on my home linking the icons and GD, uh, the icons that I have on my laptop and put it into a .icons folder and then just SS 
uh, secure transfer it over here. So I am running uh, ePapyrus, I believe. Let, let me take a look. Uh, screen fetch. Yeah, ePapyrus, and I have Arc Dark. So I kind of like this uh, theme. I do need to get a better background because this is a little, um, a little blurry. So. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give this uh, another couple weeks uh, just so I have time to play with it and, you know, get used to the ins and outs. But I am liking it. Again, I feel like there's some things on here that need to be, you know, worked on a little bit more. I know it's a, a lot of volunteers and stuff like that, so there's not like one company working on uh, on this unlike you know Sousa or Red Hat stuff like that so you know they've done an awesome job for you know this is older than Linux to be uh, to be blunt so you know and a lot of companies use FreeBSD a lot of code the BSD licensing so probably a lot of code in Windows actually uses some of the code in BSDs probably FreeBSD was the more popular one. Um, I have tried NetBSD. NetBSD's uh, hook is that it can actually run on anything, including a toaster, which the funny thing is someone made a toaster that ran PSD or NetBSD. Uh, there are a lot of branching off points uh, from FreeBSD, like uh, TrueOS, uh, Project Trident, GhostBSD. Now, from what I've gathered, uh, that GhostBSD will probably move to TrueOS, which, okay, that's fine. I think uh, TrueOS is more of a rolling distro or rolling OS, uh, so they're trying to stay on the current branch of FreeBSD, which is fine. Uh, this one I am on the release, and it is very easy to get onto. Uh, so. I kind of like this in a way because <clears throat> it's an in-between of like a binary distribution, say like Ubuntu Mate and Gentoo, which is you have to compile everything. Granted, in Gentoo there are some binary pre-built packages like Firefox, LibreOffice, VirtualBox, and several others, but it, it's mostly known that you have to compile everything. Where here with WeChat there is a binary and there is also a uh, that you can do it yourself so if we go into IRC LS CD WeChat and there it is so you just have to make clean make install clean and it can compile itself so I've I've never done Spotify D I don't know how to do it. Uh, I unfortunately sign into Spotify with my Facebook account, which I will change very shortly. Um, but I don't know if I can sign in to like MoPD or Spotify D with the Spot or with the Facebook uh, middleman. So if anyone knows that, please let me know. But yeah, this was just going to be a quick follow-up, letting you guys know it was my locales, and I did fix it. And thank you so much for everyone who uh, made a comment. Uh, it helped me a lot. Uh, that's like the most comments I've ever received in the shortest amount of time. So it, it does look like a lot of people are interested in the BSDs. Um, because, you know, a lot, the whole thing is with like System D, people are coming over to it because they don't use System D on, on there. So, but yeah, I think uh, the BSDs are more, more popular than people make them out to be. So, but I will stay on this for at least until my birthday, which is in about three weeks from now. So, I'll try to do a video around that time giving you my, my final thoughts on it because it'll be about a month that I will have been on uh, be it FreeBSD. So we'll see if I keep it on this machine or if I you know, try a different BSD or go back to Linux where I'm comfortable. So, But uh, yeah, this is just a 
a follow-up and thank you guys for all the help. Uh, I really do appreciate it and I will catch you guys in the next video.